Hi, my name is Rene Caldente. I'm a professor in the Information Operation and Management Science Department at NYU. And today I would like to walk you through this topic of revenue management. At a very high level, um, revenue management is about matching supply and demand. So how companies can think about the right level of resources that they need to build and allocate into the marketplace in order to meet the needs of their consumers. So in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to be using the airline industry as a running example. So this 30 South M feed view um, of the problem of matching supply and demand involves issues about product design. So do you want to be uh, a low, low cost carrier or do you want to be a full service airline? Uh, market selection in the form of which route you're going to be competing on, how much capacity you're going to allocate to those and uh, long term capacity planning in the form of the size of the plane that you're going to be using, the frequency of the flight that you're going to be um, running in those particular routes. However, in order to be profitable in the long run, this problem of matching supply and demand involve going into this three feet view of the, of the airline industry. So you cannot just stay at the high level strategic side of the problem. You need to go and look at each individual seat that you're running uh, in your operation and make sure that you manage that individual unit of capacity in a profitable way. And by that, I mean on a day by day or on a fly by fly basis. Now, this is a topic that is in very important in the service industry because capacity um, is perishable. So if you don't have a passenger sitting on a particular seat on a particular fly, that unit of capacity will perish. And this is obviously very expensive. Revenue management, uh, in some sense, is the collection of managerial practices and analytical tools that companies use in the process of selling the right product the right customers at the right prices and the right time through the right channels. Essentially, you have three key components uh, to revenue management. One is a demand and forecasting component, which is essentially about understanding your consumers. A supply component, which is about understanding your capacity. And finally, a business analytical component, which is about the tools that companies use to think about this problem of matching demand and supply. All right, so if we look at um, the first a component, uh, the demand and forecasting component. Um, a very important thing to keep in mind is that today in this big data era, we can no longer look at our consumers as some sort of a homogeneous population of buyers, but rather as a collection of groups with individual needs, individual preferences, individual price elasticities, individual purchasing behavior. And so um, a key aspect of revenue management is really to go after this customer segmentation. How can we break our population of buyers, consumers into classes and then try to um, think carefully about their needs and design product that will match their needs. Uh, the second aspect of revenue management is about resource analytics. Um, essentially, the idea here is that as you are ability as a company to understand your customer and break them into different segment growth over time, uh, you need to also have the ability to uh, take your resources and uh, break them in terms of product offering that will meet the customer needs. Take the example of American Airlines here. Um, on a daily basis, this company flights more than 3,400 flights uh, in this network. And when you look at each individual uh, flight in this network, you will see that each seat is offered at more than 20 or 30 different fare classes. So the size of the product offering that this company has on a daily basis is huge. And therefore, in order to be profitable, companies need to understand this complexity and need to design systems that allow them to manage the capacity in this huge network on a daily basis effectively. Finally, we have the third component of a revenue management system, which is uh, what I call here the business analytics component. Um, the important thing here is to keep in mind that uh, revenue management at the end of the day is a system. And now, this system has different components. Um, the first component is a data collection component. So if we're going to try to understand um, our customers and segment them, you need to have enough data to do this. The second and most important component of this system is this revenue management piece, which is really the forecasting piece that will take this data and will actually go and create this custom segmentation and the optimization piece, which is essentially where um, the resource allocation will be done effectively. And the last piece of the system is the piece that will take these recommendations and will implement them in the field. So keep in mind, revenue management is a system. It's actually a system that is enabling companies to do massively detailed decision making in real time. So at the end of the day, we're doing all this because we want to improve the bottom line of a company. Now, typically, a system will typically increase revenues in the order of 2 to 8%.
If we implement the revenue in system, and let's say we take a conservative view of the implications of this, we will expect revenue to go and increase by 2%, so from 1,000 to 1,020. If we keep the same operating expenses, um, we are going to be able to increase our net margin then from 50 to 70, which is essentially a 40% increase in net margin. So this is a huge implication in the bottom line of these companies, which is particularly important for companies like the airline, where profit margins are really thin. I have been using the airline as a running example, but a very large number of industries have similar features like the airline, which is essentially uh, perishable resources. So hotels, for instance, it's pretty clear they have rooms and these rooms perish if you don't use it on a particular night. Car rentals is also a very, a very similar example. But if we go and you look at things like media and broadcasting, um, there's a lot of revenue management happening in the way these companies allocate their uh, media spot time to different, to different customer segments. In the online world, Google is using revenue management practices to manage their online advertising. We also have this happening in retailing with typically fashion products that have a very short life cycle and therefore they're perishable in that sense. So the applicability of revenue management is growing and one of the challenges I would say today is to take these ideas and expand them even further to different industries that have not yet implemented some of these concepts.